Hello again. What a day on Wednesday. Blue skies for pretty much all and soaring temperatures. Now we'll keep some of the warmth, but we're going to lose some of the sunshine. Certainly Thursday won't be as sunny and it won't be completely dry either. There will be some showers around and we're in for windier and wetter weather as we go towards the end of the week. More on that though in a moment. First of all, let's get through Thursday. A misty, murky start across eastern parts of Scotland and the Northern Isles. Then a brighter period. But then more showers coming into southwest Scotland, scattered across northern England to start the day and parts of eastern England too, but they'll be very hit and miss. For much of Wales, Northern Ireland and southern England, it's a dry, fine and really warm start to the day. But look here, band of showers pushing in to the far southwest. Now this band of showers can be pretty intense. Some brighter colours there, some heavier downpours and uh, the wind's getting quite squally too when they suddenly pick up. A first band of showers will cross through Scotland and then many places will see sunny spells through the afternoon across uh, southeast Scotland, down across eastern England and the Midlands. That band of showery rain though will be pushing into Wales, southwest England and Northern Ireland, as I said, with some heavy bursts mixed in. As that moves in, it will turn a little cooler elsewhere. Well, perhaps not quite as warm as Wednesday, but still temperatures up to 20, 21, maybe 22 or 23 in a few places, well above average for the time of year. Now, as we go through Thursday evening, that band of heavy showers will track over the Midlands, Northern England, push across Scotland as well. So some intense rain in these areas, at least for a time before that scoots away. Clearer skies follow, but then another band of rain starts to arrive. And this one is accompanied by strengthening winds. This one is tied into a deepening area of low pressure Storm Callum. Now, Storm Callum has been named by the Irish Met Service. Met Air have named the storm because across parts of Ireland the winds will be uh, particularly lively. The storm itself will move to the west of the UK, but still likely to bring potentially some disruptive winds across the northwest of the UK. So we do have a warning in force for that and still some uncertainty on the track of uh, the storm. So uh, warning area could move. Make sure you keep up to date with those weather warnings. So it'll be a blustery day wherever you are on Friday, but the strongest winds in the northwest closest to the storm. Now, after that, we're focusing on this weather front and the rainfall it brings, because it will bring plenty through Friday. And look, it keeps on coming into Saturday. So there's a warning in force across western parts of the UK for heavy rain too. Ahead of that cold front, though, it's also going to be really warm through both Friday and Saturday, with temperatures continuing to get over 20 Celsius. So, as I said, there's a lot going on, particularly so on Friday. There's that first band of rain. It pushes in across most of England, Wales, Scotland, eases for a time in Scotland before we get another push of rain moving back further north. And again, bright colours suggesting that rain could be heavy and in some spots last for 24 to 36 hours. But for some places, particularly East Anglia in the southeast, we may not see much rain at all. And here in the sunshine, 20 degrees is possible on Friday. It will be a windy day, though, particularly in that northwestern corner. And then with the rain continuing into the weekend, we do have warnings in force for that. As I said, make sure you keep up to date with the forecasts and all those weather warnings. You can see them on the Met Office website or through our app.